such a wise idea.
like a lion to me than a wolf, but who am I to judge the sound designers of this game? So the clothes just magically get off and they reappear. That's quite handy. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And yes. That's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Yeah. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Oh, yeah. You're often right. Oh, I see what's. And I worry you're not thinking of the. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm yeah. the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. <clears throat> He's dead, isn't he? He is dead. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Can I just cuff him? Under arrest. You'll be no need to kill her. Or him, actually. Mm -hmm. And your punishment will follow. Swiftly, I guess. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. 
Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for, have to you say murderer? For my you wife killed Lily because she was my where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to you people? Said. You're a fucking crook. Yes. You should be fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Yeah. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. Now is there anything you would like to say? Well? First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where ground. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really going this to is let about him talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Sounds good. This is ridiculous. Let me eat the cake. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such a bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my...